Hey guys, Brian Corsetti here. Welcome to Variety's This Week in Comedy, where we bring you the biggest news in comedy, covering movies, TV, and the web. Christmas came early for box office newcomer The Best Man Holiday this week. The sequel to the 1999 romantic comedy The Best Man was only expected to make back its $17 million budget when it opened last weekend. But instead, it raked in over $30.5 million. That's just $8 million less than Thor The Dark World's second week earnings. Director-writer Malcolm D. Lee is in talks to produce a third installment for Universal, the studio behind the film, but let's hope it doesn't take another 15 years to make it happen. <laughs> I said, babe. Hey, guys. More good news for the hilarious duo Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele. Less than two weeks after their Comedy Central show, Key and Peele got picked up for a fourth season. The two have locked down a deal to star in their own feature film produced by Judd Apatow. The former Mad TV cast members have become famous for poking fun of current social issues and well-known figures in their sketch comedy show. This one of President Barack Obama and his fictional anger translator even got the seal of approval from the real-life POTUS himself. We've created three million new jobs. Three million new jobs. We ended the war in Iraq. Ended the war, y'all. We ended a war. Remember, remember that? Apatow, who recently produced Anchorman 2, gushed about the rising comedy stars, saying, I love these guys because they are make you sick because you can't stop laughing funny. I think Key and Peele are capable of making the movie that America desperately needs right now. Thank you. If Stewart stays away much longer, yeah. he's out of a job. It was only a matter of time before John Oliver landed his own show. After successfully filling in for his daily show boss, John Stewart, for three months over the summer, the British comedian has made a deal with HBO to host his own weekly talk show. White people reach into their pockets like this, huh? <laughs> But black people reach into their pockets in exactly the same way. Oliver reacted to the news with his signature humor, saying, I'm incredibly excited to be joining HBO, especially as I presume this means I get free HBO now. I'd like to thank Jon Stewart. He taught me everything I know. In fact, if I fail in the future, it's entirely his fault. Oliver is just the latest Daily Show correspondent to break out on his own following in the footsteps of Stephen Colbert and Steve Carell. Oliver's new talk show will air on Sunday nights, although no official premiere date has been set. That's all I wanted. So you know that How I Met Your Mother spinoff that was reportedly in the works over at CBS? Well, apparently it only took two short weeks for the network to give the green light to a pilot episode for the new series, officially titled how I Met Your Dad. Audience, say it with me, legendary. As previously reported, the spinoff will give a female's take on the original show, but show creator Carter Bays shot down reports that the new gang would spend time at Ted, Barney, Marshall, Lily, and Robin's favorite hangout, McLaren's Pub. He tweeted, new bar for a new show. And likewise, the characters won't be introduced on How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother is currently in its ninth and final season. How are you? How are Hi. you? Good to see you. You know all the guys. I do. Um, <laughs> Guillermo's over there. It's like Hi, I how never are... left, only you're married. <laughs> it's been five years since comedy power couple Jimmy Kimmel and Sarah Silverman broke up, but apparently the two had some unfinished business when Silverman appeared on his talk show last week. Is this my stuff? This is some stuff of yours that you left. Oh. When you left. <laughs> of course, we knew if things got awkward, it would be hilarious. They are the same people who once broke the internet with their I'm f***ing Ben Affleck and I'm f***ing Matt Damon videos. I'm f***ing Ben Affleck! <laughs> Anyway, after Silverman's backhanded compliment to Kimmel's hair and his new celebrity lifestyle, Kimmel managed to find some praise for his ex's new HBO special, We Are Miracles. I uh, thought your special was great. I, I'll be honest, I was skeptical. I didn't think you could do it without me, but you're really good. <laughs> Silverman was also a part of the lineup of comedy stars who celebrated Kimmel during Variety's Power of Comedy event over the weekend which honored the late night talk show host. I just want to say congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. The event raised money for cancer research, and you can check out all the highlights from the show on Variety.com. Congratulations on both of your awards, Jimmy. 
And if you thought September's Breaking Bad series finale was a mind bender, then you haven't seen the alternate ending that hit the web this week. And we can't say we haven't considered an ending like this before. The hilarious clip features Cranston waking up to his former Malcolm in the Middle co-star and on-screen wife Jane Kazimerich as he discovers that his entire existence as Walter White has all been just a bad dream. And there was this other little guy who was a waif, a man-child kid who always looked like he was wearing his older brother's clothes. And he would always say things like, hey, bitch. <laughs> The B word. He would use the B word a lot. Cranston, of course, was famous for playing the dopey dad in the Fox comedy before completely switching gears for AMC's Breaking Bad. The Malcolm Bad crossover clip will be included on Breaking Bad's complete series DVD box set in stores November 26. Is that you at my back door? I'm the one who's knocking. Thanks for watching Variety's This Week in Comedy on Official Comedy. Be sure to click subscribe for all the must see comedy moments from the world of TV, movies, and the web.